What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I hope everybody's been having a great day so far. It's a great week. Why? Well, because today is my birthday. That's right. Whoop whoop. All right. So I want to give a big shout out and thank you to the guys over at banggood.com. Um, they actually contacted me a, about a week ago on uh, through here and emailed me asking me if I would be interested in reviewing a couple of spinners for them. They sent them over for free, so that is the disclosure. So I decided for this week, I am going to roll this review and contest all into one since they were nice enough to send this to me for free. I'm going to give it to you guys. That's right. So I'm going to do a review and overlook on both of these products. Uh, most of you guys have seen one of these in one form or another. And I actually have a pile of them from different people. And uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to work that out. But they're all going to go to you guys. So let's get into it. First and foremost, we're going to take a look at this guy. All right, taking a look at the packaging here, it's just in a simple brown box, though it is very nice and durable. Matemico is the brand name on it. Looks like it comes in a couple of different colors. It comes in a aluminum gold, aluminum black, aluminum gray, and then this version, which is brass. And you got a skew number up on here. Taking the lid off on the camera, it looks darky dark. Um, it actually comes in a Pretty nice uh, velvet bag. There's also a keychain that's in here that you can attach to it. Taking a look at the spinner itself, if this looks like a giant torque bar ver version of the torque bar, well, you would be correct because it is freaking huge. If you guys remember about two weeks ago, I did a review on this guy, which is pretty similar to the size of a torque bar, but compared, look at the size of that. It's freaking huge huge this is a chunk of brass like i said before this was sent over to me from banggood.com um, i will have links in the description to be able to pick up this the other and i think they also have a clearance section where they end up selling uh, some of their spinners at clearance prices these are based out of china so you will have kind of a weight on there but it wasn't too bad they didn't rush it um, they sent it by first class and it was here within a week so that's pretty good coming from china taking a look at super up and close you can see the buttons are nice and beefy on there the whole thing is beefy if we measure it out it's actually about eh, two and three quarters inches long almost three inches by about an inch and a quarter wide and not counting the buttons it is about 10 millimeters about half an inch as far as being thick taking a look at the machining on here machining is actually pretty good You get this nice texture that's on this part, which actually shows up pretty well. Machine seems to be equal on both sides. You do have the holes for either a lanyard or if you chose, you could attach the keychain attachment. Taking off the buttons, just as with all the others, you just unscrew it. And those slide out. You do have your bearings that's on here. They do look to be the ceramic hybrid where you have the stainless steel outer and inner ring, but everything else is either plastic or ceramic, which is nice. One thing that I did like about this versus one of the others that I ended up getting is this actually has teeth on here where you can grab it to loosen to take out the bearing instead of being like that other one where it was reversed. So there's your cavern for the bearing to sit into. There is your bearing. I haven't cleaned it. The bearing seems to be pretty good. Out of the package, I believe I got almost a seven minute spin time right out of the package, which I think, think is pretty good. You know, I see a lot of reviewers, they end up, um, saying right out of the package with such and such that they got a eight minute, nine minute, things like that. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but some of these that I end up getting, which are the very same ones, I am not getting that same kind of spin time. Um, not until possibly I even end up cleaning it. By the way, if you end up hearing laughing in the background, my neighbors seem to be having a party at around midnight. Good times. Getting onto the spinner itself. 
for the price point of $14. I think it was $14.99 and then their list price is about $2 in shipping or something like that. You have different shipping options. Yeah, just for the chunk of brass that it is. Um, of course, with any two-arm spinner, you are going to have some wobble and play when you do this. It's just natural with a two-arm spinner. You can look it up. It works the same way with helicopter blades, uh, anything like that. So that's going to be normal, though I'm kind of surprised how minimal it is, seeing how you've got a R188 style bearing in here and how big and chunky this is. I bet if I weigh this, it's probably at least five to six ounces. Um, it, it's chunky. Yeah, you know, I need to break down and buy a small digital scale so that I can put these on here to weigh for you guys because it is, it is crazy heavy. Getting that out of the way and getting into the other package that they sent. This just comes in a standard three-arm spinner. I think these are literally only a like two dollars or something like that on the site. Uh, so you can't, you know, for the price, it's not bad. It is, like I said, your typical plastic spinner, plastic body, small curvature to the buttons. The buttons are nice and tight in there. They don't try and fall out. Um, these are what are these marked at? 608 RS ABEX sevens. Uh, if you chose to pop these out and make your own spinner, you could always end up doing that. Sometimes it's cheaper to buy these and turn them into, you know, take the bearings out to make your own spinner than it is to actually buy bearings themselves. This one's actually listed as a child's spinner. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much appropriate for it. All right, guys. So in my opinion, would I end up purchasing these? Um, yeah, I actually would for the price point. You know, less than $15 for this one and a couple dollars for this one. I would, I would end up picking them up. If you're interested and you want to check them out, the links will be down in the description. Like I said, it's from banggood.com. I really want to thank them for reaching out and contacting me and uh, sending me these for free. But guess what? That's not what I'm all about. So instead of having, you know, a Patreon or something else like that and giving away you know, because you did something for me by you watching my videos and supporting me, liking and subscribing. Guess what? I give you guys spinners and things. Um, so yeah, as usual with the rest of my contest, leave a comment down below. Make sure that you are subscribed and uh, share it if you care to. And uh, on Sunday, April 31st, I will do the drawings that evening for both of these. And uh, yeah, so good luck to everybody. I thought I would just roll this all into one instead of making two separate videos. If you guys like my videos and you want to continue to see more of them and more contest, definitely click that subscribe button to check out my last video. Click right over there. As usual, YouTube, it has been a pleasure to present you these spinners. And uh, thank you for hanging out with me. I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.